What's up, guys? Tim in the North, back with some more Age of Empires 2. Took our first loss last episode. I fell behind with villager production, so I'm going to try to keep reminding myself that I need to keep producing some villagers, at least almost up to 100. I think I fell off at 59 last time. We made a push across the water and I got tied up in combat and just just forgot. Uh, I'm going to get the matchmaking rolling and I'll catch you on the other side when we, we have a match found. See you then. Okay, got ourselves an Arabia match. <sighs> Should be interesting. Uh, don't have to worry about water as much at all, I should say. So, at least uh, allows me to try to focus a little bit more on villagers. I have to, I have to come up with some kind of reminder to keep me going back to the town center while I'm trying to talk. Ultra islands. All right, let's do this thing. Take a little bit to load here. We're only two players. Got them on the goat. And not on tree line yet, so one more and we'll move the marker. I gotta make sure I find like a good patch of trees here before I drop down a, a lumber camp. I gotta try to remember, it, it, there's a chance that it could be a little ways out. <laughs> oh, we got goats here. Make sure we grab them. <laughs> no boars. We're gonna have rhinos. I think this is, it looks like a good patch of trees. That's right, three on wood. Wish I could get the scout to move a little bit faster. Got loom. Gonna send one out to get the rhino. No, no, they're going after- that's terrible. All right. So, we're already kind of screwed with our goats. Because we're also going to be bringing in this rhino now. Might lose this villager. Nope, got him into the town center. Sveiki. Ei Put you here. I know I need to move the scout again. Actually, this might not be a bad cluster of trees as well. It's really not that great, is it? I'm really worried about running into a similar wood situation as that that last time. But I, I gotta make a, I gotta make a jump here. I gotta gotta do something. He jumped onto the other town center's idol. 
He jumped on the other goat over here. And there's still some on this rhino. I'm gonna finish up that rhino. Have these guys go over. The cyst. Did I find all of the. No, there's probably some goats back here. There's some zebras. They're way too far out for me to chase. That'll just be way too time consuming. Sveiki. Get some of these villagers on woodline. Send you to get some berries. Oh, the goats are over here. Hopefully they'll make it in here in time. I want to send you to get some wood. Hey, they're queued up the... Do the goats. Let's put you on... Make a barracks. We gotta go find our... Opponent. Looks like they're slightly ahead of me. In terms of points, which at the end of the day doesn't, doesn't mean a whole lot, but it, it could be bad. Closer. Could probably actually move you guys over to here now. So seven on wood, ten on food, and I will have one on gold. Zebras, relic. I'm gonna guess there's somewhere right here, close to that back corner. We gotta make another house. Oh boy, you guys are all idle. I think there's actually a setting that I could put down to show idle villagers. I believe that was a mod that was added in the most recent patch. back in the corner you see my scout run through there okay, so let's grab the we'll have to try to grab the up the upgrade for man at arms guys like easy just below on gold again. I'm not thrilled with wood here at all. I'm going to throw down another lumber camp. Try to get some farms going here. So 
this way it's not as big of like an instant hit with so many people trying to make farms at one time. Okay, so that's some damage and some armor for these guys, so let's... Try to get this going. I'm gonna put one spearman back here. Hopefully the scout doesn't run back through the middle and, and catch us. I do have to grab the axe upgrades still. It's always a good sign when you see that they didn't grab their boar. Okay, this guy has the right idea, though, with making it a nice, tight... ...area. We're gonna break through that. <clears throat> they come back on there. Okay, so they put up a... ...a tower. That's fine. We can always attack houses as well. Never mind, he's got archers. Oh, I thought you were supposed to go in a line after one was queued up. Might, I'm assuming there's probably some sort of a, a gap hey, coverage. Me. Ooh! Firmina! <laughs> I don't know if I have enough wood for this. The archers are a little bit of a concern. Okay, I think get both of them good. Um, I need you to assist with this.
We need some more stone now. Alright, we just need a little bit more food and we will be good to go. Close so. I'm gonna build a market right the... here. Dial back a little bit on gold. I have plenty of gold. Uh, we do gotta get somebody on stone. I know I just said I need food, but I need to keep some kind of production still going. Right, we're going to go into castle. I'm assuming he's about to move up the castle right now. Try to keep an eye on the mini map. Right, we got a relic over there. Halfway to castle. <laughs> Get a few villagers going. I also need to bump up or farm I think there's a gap right here I gotta put somebody to put a house right there I think that should be okay okay so speak it you guys want to make me a monastery right here? Probably leave one of you on stone. Speak you. Get a second town center to help with producing some villagers. I grab the next axe upgrade that's gonna put us pretty low at wood. Where's our relic right here? Alright, well he's not in castle. I wanna go down here and, and see what he's up to. I gotta make sure I'm He's in Castle now. Okay, he does have pikemen. So 
looks like we might get one villager. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, we need a university next. Ran out of wood again. That wood's a bit of a problem. We can get husbandry, get us some more speed. See if I can try to run straight by. Alright, we're going into Imperial. I want to see if I can heal up some of these units, just because they are gold units. And also, I did see he had some archers, so let's throw down a siege workshop. are scouts. I'm just going to try having them scout a little bit more of the map. So I'm gonna check out this corner. I am gonna make a an onager though. I in case he does come rolling up with a bunch of archers, I'm gonna wanna have a siege onager ready to go. Alright, so I need I need a castle here, guys. We need to drop. Upgrade. We need to get the. Uh, I fell off. I forgot to. We can have the other town center rolling with villagers while the other one is going up to the next age. Oh, we gotta get someone over here for a relic.
I would like to get some more people on stone if possible. We're already much better than what we were at the last episode in terms of villagers. I do want to make sure I have enough for the next upgrade is what I'm hoping for. Yeah, we can grab it now. We're going to have paladins. Okay, he just hit Imperial Age. I want to try dropping a castle right here. Make sure he doesn't have something already there. Okay, we should be good. Hey, Mr. Titun. Grabbing Siege Onager. Oh. oh no, he's got... He pivoted the camels. All right, I got. I definitely got to get some halberdiers out. This castle is probably gonna get denied. I got it. All right. Looks like we might clean this up too. Yeah, we managed to clean that up. Oh, and he, he just tapped. Oh boy, we got lucky with that castle. Oh, I wanted to go back to map, return to map. Whew, my heart was pumping there. All right, so I'm I'm guessing he must have had some visual on this. I I don't I, unfortunately right now the Xbox is not able to do replays from online, but I'm assuming maybe off of this house or maybe no, he may have had he may have had the upgrade for further vision. He might have seen this, but the fact that he did come around with some camels suggests that he did see the castle go down. Uh, it's good that I had our paladins lined up behind. I really thought that they might get back there and mess up enough villagers. I even sent this villager back here to make this because I was like, oh, I should have enough villagers. Um, but that was a little bit close. Uh, the paladins were able to clean up underneath. I was bringing the siege onager here to, you know, try to disrupt the archers if that was going to be an issue, but, um, they ended up tapping. And I imagine, looking now, they didn't have any other military. So, I was going to go ham on this building. The castle was already starting to shoot, and we, we just would have been in, and I was going to end up making some some siege towers, or uh, trebuchets, to try and treb down the the uh, town center. <clears throat> and the town center is relatively close to the castle. Not that the castle would have been able to reach the town center, but the trebs would have been able to stay in range of the castle's protection to treb down a town center. And also this town center right here uh, was, was also in range, so I guess... It was probably a good time to tap. They did have three town centers and a castle. So, uh, it was a good match. I was a little concerned very beginning when, when the archers came out and I wasn't able to get too much disruption here in the eco, but uh, we did manage to pull out a win there. Um, 
feels good coming off coming off of that loss earlier, right? <laughs> but uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next match. Peace.